No, you're not lazy, and it's not because you lack discipline. People love to blame motivation, time management, or burnout, but that's not why your GitHub looks like a digital graveyard. The real reason you never finish a single coding project? It's a set of sneaky habits and mental traps that sabotage you before you even have a chance. And today, we're going to break every single one of them and actually fix your quote-unquote skill issue. Reason 1. You think in features, not in outcomes. You start with, I'll build a chat app with dark mode, push notifications, voice input. Whoa, that's not a project. That's a wish list. This ruins your momentum. You're not solving a problem. You're chasing features like badges. You don't know when it's done, so you never feel like you're progressing. So here's how to fix it. Ask, what's the one problem this solves? Build only what proves that it works. MVP first, polish later. Think outcome, then backtrack to features. Two. You confuse coding with making progress. You're tweaking margins, refactoring components, renaming variables. Feels productive, right? But it's just motion, not progress. And the trap is that it's easier to polish pixels than to confront real bugs or missing functionality. So here's how to fix it. Every coding session should end with something new that works. If you can't demo what changed, you probably didn't move forward. Three, you're addicted to the high of starting. That dopamine rush from scaffolding a new repo, installing Tailwind, writing your first use state, it's real, but it fades. Then you chase it again with a new project. To fix it, turn that addiction against itself. Make finishing your new high. Track progress visibly checklists, public logs, private journal, and limit new starts. One open project, period. Four, you learn concepts, not connections. You know what a reducer is. You can explain use effect, but you don't know when to use them or why they matter together. It's not about facts, it's about flow. So build tiny weird projects that force concepts to interact, like a form that autosaves drafts using debouncing and local storage. Not just to-do apps, actual experiments. Make your brain synthesize, not memorize. You didn't have to cut me off. Five, you don't think in components, you think in chaos. You open your editor and just start coding. No layout, no components, no structure, just vibes. Then 300 lines later, you don't even know where the bug is. To fix this, sketch a wireframe. Break it into components before you write a single line. Think like an architect, not a bricklayer. And yes, AI can help you scaffold those components fast. Six, you're not using AI as your wingman. AI isn't here to replace you. It's here to remove the friction. Can't think of how to structure your database? Ask AI. Need dummy content or user auth flows? Ask AI. Confused on how to handle edge cases in a form? You know the drill. But here's the key. AI helps you think faster, not think less. Use it to generate, not replace. Use it to unblock, not autopilot. You still need to lead the project. You're just not doing it alone anymore. Here's what you need to do next. Pick one project. Give it a clear outcome. Break it down. Use AI to scaffold the hard parts and finish the damn thing. Not perfectly, not beautifully, just completely. Then do it again. Welcome to the 1% of devs who actually ship. And hey, if you've made it this far, thanks. I'd love it if you subscribed. See you in the next video. It's about Fireship and how ridiculously fast his tutorials are. You're gonna like it. Go watch it right now.